Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new flashback Chicharito card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine, medium low work rates, which I actually personally like in the striker position for a lot of players. So hopefully it's going to be the same case for Hernandez. Uh, right footed, three star skill moves with a three star weak foot. So obviously a huge letdown that he is a three star, three star player. They should have made him four star, four star. I think flashback Higuain was four star, four star, and it definitely made the, the card more usable uh, because obviously it's just nice to have in this game because with Chicharito, with him being Mexican, uh, if you did this Dos Santos card, it would have been a really cool link to work with there. But regardless, it still is. It's just would have been nice to have the four star, four star for a card like this, right? Uh, In-game player traits. He has the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait, which actually compensates a lot for this card. Like I said, if he was four star, four star, he would have been crazy. Attributes in-game. He's got 92 acceleration with 84 sprint speed, which I personally like. I like that the um, acceleration is higher than the sprint speed because I often don't really go for like a lot of through ball passes. It's mostly just like build up play, which you guys will see in the foot champs video today. 92 acceleration, 84 sprint speed will be perfect with either the hunter chemistry style or uh, the hawk chemistry style. I'm giving him the hawk chemistry style because I want to boost his shot power as much as possible. So that when he does get into the right positions, he's just essentially perfect at shooting, right? So we're going to have him at 97 uh, with an 89, shooting 97, 95, 86 with 84 volleys and 92 composures, pretty decent. So with the Hawk, we're going to be, again, making it perfect, essentially. Uh, base card stats for passing is pretty good for a striker. Don't have to worry about that too much. Dribbling, we will be testing out in game. Um, I don't expect him to be the most responsive unless... He actually has a lean body type. Okay, so he has an average body type. So for me personally, guys, this card is the type of dude where, you know, it may feel like he's going to be missing in the dribbling department. We're obviously going to check it out in game and see what the vibes are. Hunter, Hawk, Shadow, Marksman. Some people are giving him a Marksman, but then you wouldn't have the pace on the car, which would be okay, I guess, for the extra dribbling. But obviously to make him as good as possible in this game, a Hawk or a hunter would definitely make the most sense and you you would just compensate for the dribbling right but we'll test it, we'll test it out in game see uh see if he's good at it 92 heading accuracy which is okay don't really head the ball that often to be honest uh 81 stamina and then 99 jumping with the hawk chemistry style we will be boosting his aggression to an 80 while giving him 72 for strength so um the 4 and 2 and 2 that i'm going to be showing you guys in a foot champs video is going to look like this so we're going to have this on balance balanced uh, it was like this, and then it was like this, and then it would be balanced, and then this was five and five. But the instructions, I change a little bit, right, from the ones that Boris uses. So it's basically cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center for the CDM. Like, I feel like I need that. Um, and then the strikers are actually on target man, come back and defense. Now, the reason why I have them on target man is because if their attacking AI is good enough to deal with defenders dropping back a lot... I feel like I feel like it's definitely ideal to have your strikers hold up against defenders, and then when they see that empty space, they still make that run from base characteristics. So we're gonna see if uh, both Hernandez and Higuain still does that. Higuain, he has really good attacking AI, so I know he'll do it. But Chicharito, I'm not familiar with yet, so uh, we'll see how he plays in game. Um, so yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. Oh, I want to try the finesse shot from there. Oh, thought I was gonna get that ball there. Okay, we're going to try something different because Higuain and Chicharito don't have high-low work rates. So it kind of affects them a little bit. That's why you have to understand the base characteristics of each player you use, right? We're going to put them both on getting behind. You just, it's its just its just the way I experience FIFA, guys. Like, it's, you just notice certain things, like, right away, right? With your weak foot? Okay, we'll take that. So the one thing I want you guys to notice in that situation right there, right, is when I had the get in behind instruction out of the card, you see how he forced the run, but then he came back immediately because he realized that making that run would make no sense. That's decent attacking AI so far, right? So we're going to see if that's like a consistent thing with him. He actually changes his angle of the run right there. You see the constant movement with him? That's good. It makes him more usable in the game, bro. That's good that it's not like generic. He's always adapting to the left stick dribbles that I do, which is important. Yeah, I'm trying to get him on that finesse shot right there. That's why I wanted to raise his shot power and finishing as much as possible to make it more usable. Sure. 
near post from there. I aim for like that bounce, that little bounce dribble. You see that? Like when I accelerate a certain way with the right trigger, like you guys can check out my controller if you want. When you see that bounce, that's when you take that strike because it's just more accurate, right? It's just like a volley. Um, so it just works better. Just scored a goal with Chicharito, but uh, I completely fluffed the recording. What I was saying during the recording is basically like th this is the type of card where you're not gonna really be able you're not gonna be able to like really fix his dribbling because of the average body type and base dribbling stats. Because if you give him like a marksman or something, right, you're always gonna feel like you're missing something on the card in regards to the chemistry styles that you actually give him, right? So. There you go. First time strike there at Chicharito. We score that opportunity. Um, yeah, so we switched both of the strikers to balance instructions instead of getting behind. Because uh, I just really like Higuain on balance, to be honest. And uh, it's working It's working nicely. Oh, wow. That was actually a really good strike from that angle. Nice. High shooting stats, actually, he's able to score that. That's dope. You can see that I even switched Chicharito to the uh, right striker position as well. Because, uh, you know, with his dribbling being the way that it is, right, you're not going to often find yourself in a situation to go for that finesse shot. You know what I'm saying? So the goal that we scored was this one right here. Right? So uh, I have them both on balance instructions at this point. Right? So we have the ball here with Higuain. We do a little directional uh, shot cancel right here. So you can see... Oops. Let me just resume that. So we do the directional, we do the shot cancel, right? We do the shot cancel. With his left foot, we get him on his finesse shot here. So he overcommits that, and then we score that opportunity, right? So that's how he hits the finesse shot like this. Yeah, guys, so it definitely makes the most sense to use uh, strikers like this on balance instructions. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and just switch that. To just balance and with chicharito like i said guys because of his dribbling stats not being crazy his dribbling is not going to be the best to get into those finesse shot angles constantly however if he takes them it'll be nice it won't be as crazy as you think it is but it'll be okay oh good pass off ball roll touch there we go nicely done good assist there by chicharito I mean, using these two up top in the striker position would definitely be like a really fun thing to have for sure. Especially if you're building like an MLS team. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> that weak foot, bro. That weak foot. Initial touch, too, is a little bit off. But uh, again, attacking AI was good enough to get into that opening space really nicely. No, oh, you see? He stops. He understands that it doesn't make sense to keep going there. How about here? What do you do here? Goes back, see? See, that's why it's like good to like kind of understand the patterns of a player, because like it's a player that you have to use on balance instructions. Medium low work rates is really nice to have as a striker, to be fair. Right, try the finesse shot there too. See, like I said, those finesse shots don't come off as, as special as you think it would with the trait, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to do, like, really quick responsive dribbling there. He responds kind of poorly to the situations. Like, Dos Santos is actually really nice at left-side dribbling. There you go. We work with that finesse shot angle on his left foot. Nice. A lot of shot cancels you got to do to kind of, like, get into the right spaces. If you don't do shot cancels, defensive AI just blocks you like crazy, man. You got to work those small little angles. Keeps running there, stays on side. This guy opens up here. It's a good run there too. Sometimes it's good to have players that just do like disguise runs. Like his disguise runs does open up the pitch for people around him as well. Oh wow, I think I'm actually gonna get this. Directional, shot cancel, shot cancel. Oh, Pope with the save. No shot. You see how you have to like keep constantly shot canceling to kind of like get into the spaces there? On your left? 
Eh, it wasn't a bad finesse shot considering it's a three-star weak foot. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Chicharito card. So let's talk about how he performs in game. So in my opinion, guys, right, with cards like this, when you have a five foot nine height, but you have the average body type with dribbling stats like this, in this gameplay, these dribbling stats are not high enough for you to feel super responsive, right? So it could be a situation for you where you may want to give him an engine chemistry style to boost his dribbling as much as possible. But you guys have to remember that because of the average body type, you can't really expect to fix the dribbling that much, right? Just because of how this game works. Uh, it would be definitely nice to give him the engine for the pace, the passing, and the dribbling boost for the card uh, while working with base card stats of shooting being at 95 finishing, but the shot power being at 86, you would have to kind of get into those specific angles high percentage strike areas to be able to hit them consistently. We gave him a Hawk chemistry style because he wanted to test out his base characteristics for dribbling, which like I said, weren't that great, right? Attacking AI-wise, the card's actually not bad at all because of the medium low work rates. Playing on balanced instructions uh, and playing to his characteristics was actually really solid. Um, even on the get and behind instruction, the way that he would push forward and kind of get back into position was definitely nice as well. Nothing crazy special, but it's definitely usable in this game. Uh, for his physicality, Again, with dribbling being the way that it is, the physicality is like super irrelevant for me personally because when you're trying to dribble with a card like this with that body type, it just doesn't really uh, fit that well. So if you guys end up doing this SBC, I definitely think, <coughs> excuse me, I definitely think that he joins Sentimental Value FC uh, quote-unquote concept card. 68k for a card like that is not bad, obviously, for uh, a fun-oriented card. If it was like 150, I'd be like, all right, guys, let's talk about it, you know. But 68k for a concept card is not a terrible thing. Uh, it's just that he's not going to be an easy card to fit in the meta of this game, right? With Higuain, it was different, man. Like, I feel like the way that Higuain's card was set up was so perfect for the engine chemistry style to make him usable because 89 shot power is like a decent cutoff for concept cards like this at 54k right so he's got 90 acceleration 97 sprint speed dribbling stats are higher yes the reactions of ball control are set up the way that it is but he also has a unique body type in game that actually felt nice right but because the hernandez doesn't have that unique body type that could potentially be good because unique. there's some unique body types that suck. Like for me, Philippe Anderson's unique body type sucks. But with Hernandez, if they actually gave him a decent one, it would have been pretty nice as well. So the card's not that great, but the price is also not that bad for a sentimental value FC concept card, in my opinion. If it was, like I said, if it was more expensive, then I'd let you guys know. But 68K is usually the ballpark of uh, quote unquote what we call them here sentimental value FC cards or concept cards. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.